Hey guys, this is Maleha from the Site Blogger, and today I want to show you how to use a new app called Type Cutout to create a text effect like this one. So as you can see, this text has um, a solid color, partial solid color um, background. Well, not exactly background, but the test color is kind of like this yellow orangish, and then the bottom half or more than the bottom half, kind of like this um, slanted uh, portion toward the bottom of this text is actually a textured image um, background, or again, not exactly a background, but background of the text, the font itself. And you can actually create that using this app called Type Cutout. And so in this video, I want to show you how to create this dual um, texture background effect um, on fonts or text using that type cutout app on Canva. Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> anyway, once I start doing it, it will start making more sense. So let's get to it. So let me create a new design on Canva and I'll just uh, open up Canva on a different tab. And we will start with creating a solid color um, square design that I usually use for these Canva tutorials. And that's the Instagram square template that's just easy to deal with, in my opinion. And then we will um, go straight to it and choose our app. So let's go to the Apps tab on the left panel right here. And then start by typing type cutout. Now it's actually a featured app right here as you can see so we can just directly um, click it and then start using that but depending on when you're watching this video this uh, may not appear so the best way to get to any app is to just search for it in the search bar on top right here. So let's type type cutout and that brings up the Type Cutout app. Click it to add it to your left panel. And because I have already used that app once before, it just takes me straight to it. But if you have never used that app before, it will ask you for your permission to be added. And so just accept it and you should be good to go. Now there are several different options available. Like for example, the main text area is where you can actually input your own text. Um, you can type whatever you want. Um, we will just leave it at its default good vibes because we don't want to spend too much time tweaking things. You can also change font. So if you click the font, you can come here and you can change the font to whatever you want. We will leave it at its default geological bold. Um, looks good. Um, and then you can also play around with the alignment, left alignment, center alignment, or right alignment. So we'll go with the left alignment, the default one for now. And then you can also play around with line height, for example. We will also leave it at its default. You can choose a background image. You can edit image. Those are some of the things we will see in this video. And then at the very bottom over here, you just see what the uh, end result looks like. So you see the preview here. And then you can kind of play around with the background. So depending on what kind of image you're using, for the preview, you can use a black background or a light background. It's totally up to you. The background doesn't affect the end result. It's just for your visual, like what's easy for you to design in. Some people like to see a dark background. Some people like to see a light background. Um, and oftentimes it depends on the actual design you're working with. So I'll just keep it at dark background for now, but you can just toggle it back and forth to see whatever um, you feel good with. Now, keeping all the other options at their default, like the main text, font, alignment, and line height, let's just play around with um, the background image and then um, so edit some of the edit image mode. Now, remember, this is what the end result we're going for. So, um, basically it has like two different colors. Uh, the first one is a solid color and the bottom portion is actually, it has an image background. So in order to create this two tone, two textured text, we will have to create 
two different um, type cutout with this tool. And that's because the first one is actually, um, let me show you because it's easy to show you rather than um, explain away with words. So basically, you're going to have to create two different graphics. So over here, I have actually two different ones. And let me ungroup it so I can show you. And let me also get rid of the black background so I can show you what it looks like. So it actually has two different, I have created two different graphics using the cutout. So this one and then this one. And what I have done is that I have laid one on top of the other, like so. And then I have just grouped them so to kind of make it a single image. And this is what it looks like. Now let me show you what it looks like when you're actually creating it. So let's start with uh, selecting a background image. And then let me go to desktop temp photos. So this is the photo that I was using on the other, the finished image. And so as you can see, this is what it looks like. Now I can edit it farther and to do that, click start edit mode. And then you can actually rotate the image like so. I don't know if you can see it, it's kind of small. Let me see if I can, um, make it a little bigger, like so, zoom in a little bit. And then you can rotate the image like this, you know, just use the slider here to rotate whichever way, whichever direction you want to rotate. And then you can also scale the image um, smaller and larger, like so. So let me zoom out once again so I can see it better on my end. So this is what I'm going to do. This is this is starting to look like what I had um, initially on the other image. So I will, you know, you can drag it, you can rotate it, you can scale it, and then you can drag it by holding your mouse, the image with your mouse left click, and then holding the click and then moving the image around like so. So I, I'm liking what, how it looks right now. So once I like what it looks like, I will click finish editing. And this is what the end result looks like. And then I will click add to design. So this is what it looks like. As you can see, one, if you don't, if your image doesn't cover the entire text, the top portion simply gets cut out. So this is what the type, uh, the app's name comes from. I'm assuming type cut out. Basically it's just cutting out, um, the portion of the text that doesn't have the background image. So to give it the two-tone look that I was showing you in the original one, we will actually have to create this cutout twice. So for the next one, what I will do is I will come back here and I will actually create an image with solid color because as you can see, you can't really give the, the type cutout app doesn't have an option to create a solid color text. It has to have a background image from what I have, what I can see. So the only way to create a solid color text is to give it a background image. So what I will do is I will create a new page here and then give that image a solid color, like the orange one that I had in the original, like so. And then I will save that as an image so I will just download it and then I will download only the solid color, the page two and then done and then download. So that downloads the solid color image and then I will just delete that page because we don't need that. Now coming to the app once again, the type cutout app. Oops, I think I accidentally closed it. Anyway, uh, if you accidentally close it, just click it again and then it will pop up. So I will go to the background image section and then I will delete the background that I currently have so I can choose a new background image. And then I will click choose file and then go to my downloads tab. And as you can see, I have, um, okay. So now using the solid color that we saved as an image, we can actually give it, give the text a solid color. And then 
I will just click Add to Design, like so. And then it's added to the design. Now I will just come here and make it the same size as the, or the other one, because otherwise it's not going to fit. So making sure that they're the same size. like so. And now what I'm going to do is I will send it backward. So I will click position and then to back and right there you have it. So this is the, um, this is how you create a two tone with um, the type cutout tool, the two textured sort of. Um, and of course the top portion, the other image doesn't have to be a solid color. It can be a totally different image or something like that. But I just thought that, you know, the solid color and the texture look good together. So this is what I have created. And then, um, yeah, that's it. And as you can see, that looks very similar to the one we created before and there you go. And just to give it a dark background to see what it looks like against it. And yeah, that's it. So yeah, once again, the app that I use to create this is Type Cutout. And um, yeah, have fun with it. I think it can create or it can give your designs a unique textured look if you use that, um, that sort of um, design. Um, so yeah, play around with it and see all the different things you can, all the different combination that you can create with this uh, tool. You can even do like three different combina like three different textures, four different textures, like you can go wild with it. Personally, I like to keep things simple. Um, so, you know, two is enough for me, but yeah, you can, you can create as many uh, variations of this um, as you want. So yeah, that's it for today's video and I will see you with a different video sometime soon. Bye.